Hello. Let's spend some Friday ask donut. This video is inspired by Andy Sloan. You can check his blog post for detailed explanation how to create a spinning donut and map behind it. Link is in the video description. In this video we will create spinning donuts using Python and Pygame. The process looks a little bit complicated but it's not. The scariest part is math but we don't need everything to understand, you just need to use it. Ok so simplified process looks like this. First we draw a circle on xz plane which represents a donut section and then we rotate the section about central y axis to create a donut shape. Next we spin our donut around x and z axis to make it wobbly. After that we can project our spinning 3D donut on 2D screen. And the last thing we need to determine illumination by calculating surface normal. Let's start by preparing our Pygame window. First we need to import Pygame library. We initiate Pygame by typing pygame.init. We need two colors. One for background, we will use black. And the second is for donut. For now let's use white. Next we need to set Pygame window size. Our window will be full HD 9020 by 1080 pixels. After that we create a screen for Pygame window. Pygame.display.set mode. And in double brackets let's put size of the screen, width and height. I will also write another line which uses your full screen instead of defined width and height. You can use it too, for now I will leave it commented. We can also set a caption for a Pygame window, let's name it Donut, very original. To draw a donut we will use ASCII characters, so first we need to set a font. We will use Arial with size of 18 and bold enabled. As you know Pygame is run in a while loop. We will start by filling our screen with black color. Next we will put our code, for now let's leave it like this. After code is run we will update our Pygame window. And the last thing we will define that by pressing close button, we will close while loop and close the window. Let's move to actual code. First we need to define starting position. We will start as usual in left top corner and go through all screen. We also need to define some space to put a character. Now we can calculate how many rows and columns we will have in our Pygame window and what screen size we will have. We will draw a donut in the middle of the screen, so just divide columns by 2 and rows by 2. We will use capital A and capital B for rotation animation. And theta spacing and phi spacing for creating donut. Theta spacing controls density of a primary circle and phi spacing controls donut density or moon that primary circle 360. Next we need some characters which represents illumination from dimmest to brightest. Now we can create text display function. It will need 3 parameters. One for character and two for coordinates. For character to appear on the screen we need to render it. Make sure the character is a string and to define the color. Now we need to blit our text on Pygame surface in certain position which is defined by coordinates. And finally we have a fun part. I will leave you with elevator music. Ok, the math is over. After projecting one 3D donut on the screen, we need to reset the screen, go back to start, rotate a little bit our 3D donut and project it on the screen again. And that's all. We can spin our donut. Can we make it look even better? Yes we can. Let's add some colors. We will use color C's library. Let's add some hue starting value 0. And let's create new color function and new text display function with colors. We can comment the old on. And finally after Pygame display update we make sure hue value changes for next projected donut. Let's spin our donut again. Now we have a spinning donut with changing colors. To make donut look better you can play with theta spacing, phi spacing and font size. Spinning speed can be slow because it mostly depends on your PC power. 
you can change rotation values A and B to change rotation steps, but it just defines how much to rotate, not actual rotation speed. Hope you like it. If you have any questions, leave it in the comment section. You will find the code in the description. If you liked this video, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button for more Python videos.